But the thing is, we put it off for some day. And you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but someday never comes. We wait for it. It's the eighth day. It's going to go, ah, yeah, there's Monday again. Okay? So don't put it off. Work with a sense of urgency. And I want to give you some tips for doing this. I think they're great. One, start off every day with a to-do list. A to-do list that you will get done no matter what. I do this. I call it my man law book. I'll give you an example. Let me show you. Here we go. This is my man law book for today. These are all the things I had to get done. So before 9 this morning, I had to get these things done. They're all things, tasks that I had to have just cross them off. Might sound crazy, might sound bizarre, but that's how I do it. Because I realize if I don't, I always put it off and I wait till tomorrow and tomorrow. So it might be just like, take out the trash, call this guy about this real estate deal, tell mom you appreciate her, write thank you card to this person, and play the piano with your daughter, and don't be a toad to your wife. Okay. Check. You know, get to that toad part. I'm like, I am such a toad. Okay, change, you know what I mean? And I just, it, it, you have to make a decision though. You know, I feel like every time I do this, I seriously, my wife's on my to-do list every day because it's just like, I realize that she always puts me first. I always feel guilty because I'm like, that's the last thing on my list. Why haven't I told her how great she is yet? You know, but it's just, you have to make a to-do list. You got to make an intentional decision. So every day I would recommend five things. Just try this. Just five things every day. Wake up and say, today I will get these five things done. That'd be huge. Just something. But what's going to happen is what's going to happen when you get the, when you get the final thing crossed out? What's the feeling you feel? Good. Good. Accomplishment. So then it's momentum. So now when you meet somebody at the grocery store, they say, how are you? So I'm doing great. Really? I mean, I want you guys to know, my first internship I got was from a guy. I was working at Target, and a guy came in to buy a video camera, and I got a job offer from him just from our communication. And it was just because I was feeling good that day. But how many job opportunities did I miss out on because I was walking around looking upset? I mean, I don't know. Because I was always, I had the double hoop earring thing, and I had like the, the hard you know, mad thing. I was walking around mad all the time. And I just looked like I was mad. I looked like I was wanting to hang out with him and him. <laughs> you know, I'm wanting him to be my mutually beneficial thing. We are mad together. We help each other get more mad. You know? But if you just smile and just bring and, and suit, and it's going to come from getting things up. Second thing is walk 15% faster. You ever been to the mall? You ever see the guys in the mall who walk counterclockwise to mall traffic? There's not like a law, but there's more of a man law that says man law. You will walk in the mall this way. The other people walk this way. These guys are unaware of it. They're just walking, like, you know, like this. They don't have a job. They don't even, they're not going to buy anything. They're just there. They're just occupying space, maintaining homeostasis at the mall. Then you see the guy who walks in, and he's just, you know, you're like, well, what's his deal? Well, he's got to hurry up and get something to get out because he has somewhere to go. He's got a to-do list. He's got things to do, which is why he's successful. Okay? So 15% faster. Next thing is only work via appointment. Girlfriend says, hey, we should get together tomorrow sometime. You ever been to church? And, the, and at church, people say, we should get together sometime. You ever had that? Sometime. You know, you, you, know you, you maybe met somebody for like the eighth time. You're like, what was your name again? You're, you're, you are, uh, yeah, good to see you, buddy. You start using buddy. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? Hey, you know what I mean? You don't know their name anymore. It's like the eighth time you've asked for their name, but you always forget. And then they keep saying, we should get together sometime. And you keep saying, yeah, we should sometime. And you never do. It's because we don't work via appointment. But when you work via appointment, you say, yeah, we should get together. Tuesday at 4, how about that? Okay, let's do Tuesday at 4. And it works. But when you work via appointment, you get things done because you schedule it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So work via appointment. Next thing I want to go over here is time blocking. Time blocking. Time blocking means, this is, this is the biggest complaint I have with text messages and the cell phones and the emails and the YouTube and the Twitters. You got some guy in Michigan telling you, I just went to the store on his Twitter. First off, why are you telling me you went to the store? Yeah. Second off, why do I want to know, how are you on my Twitter? <laughs> why, I don't want you to tweet me. <laughs> don't tweet me. You know, then a text message from a guy you barely knew off Facebook, and he's like, hey, what's going on? How are you? And it goes on and on all day. You can never have a coherent thought because it's never stopped. So I encourage you to time block. What I do, cell phone does not ring. I will not answer the phone before 10 in the morning, no matter who calls. Because I am doing what I have to do. I am marinating. I am reading. I am writing thank you cards. And at 7 o'clock, cell phone goes off. I don't care who you are. If you die, you can call me in the morning. <laughs> Seriously, because I don't want to know. Because it doesn't stop. And my wife and I could never have a conversation. Dinner, just ring, 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 ring. What, what's going on? What's going on? Okay. So, again, it's time blocking. Just blocking those things up. All right. 
Now, the last two things I wanted to leave you with, guys, today is I want to give you just a couple things because we've advertised 12 success principles. I don't really have time for 10. I kind of timed it. I knew that would happen. So I want to give you just two that you can kind of research on. But success principle number 11, you can round the back there, is the skills do pay the bills, but they won't get you rich. Okay? Skills pay the bills, but they won't get you rich. What gets you rich is the communication skills, assuming that you have the skills. You see what I'm saying? If you have the skill, if you graduate with a nursing degree, yes, you will pay the bills. But if you want to get ahead, you have to communicate. And if you're not a communicator, you're going to have to study it. You're going to have to get good at it. You have to practice. Maybe join Toastmasters. It's a public speaking group. That thing will make you cry and have like stomach aches all day. You get nervous all the time. But it'll get you better. I had to do this. It's kind of crazy. All right? Other thing is form a mastermind. And the mastermind, so step number 12, form a mastermind. When I say a mastermind, it's intentionally surround yourself with people who have a similar goal as yourself. So if you're wanting to start working out, find a workout buddy and go with them every day. That's why I do uh, the, the boot camp workouts, you know, because you go with a whole bunch of people and you go in the mornings and you have to, and they, they, everyone, everyone mocks everybody. Like if you're going slow, they're like, that's weak, Clark, come on now, let's go, you know? And it's just kind of that, that culture, you know? But if you'll notice a bunch of really good rappers, they form a Wu-Tang clan because they need to be together to get the creativity going. You have to have, but you can't just be the Wu. You know, you want to be the Wu-Tang Clan. You want to have a surround yourself with a mastermind. Um, and leaving with you guys, I wanted to leave you here in closing here with a, kind of the, the following uh, uh, statement here for you. It says, the key to being successful is studying successful people and then do what they do. Study successful people and do what they do. And if you implement these success principles today, today, not tomorrow or someday, but today, you will find yourself gradually, gradually pulling ahead of your classmates, your neighbors, and your friends. And success will be inevitable at the other side of failure. At the other side of failure. You're, just not, you're not gonna just have this at the other side. It's the small things you do. So uh, that, that's the, pretty much that is the question today is how will you implement how will you, how will you implement these principles? And I'm hoping you have action steps for all these. I know we went fast, but if you don't, my hope for you today is that you can leave here with action steps for each one of these. And I will see you guys at the top. Thank you. Bye.